was begun by a scientist who discovered, quite by accident, these signals being sent. Please understand, they are safe as long as they are not discovered. A kill list was intercepted. It says everyone in this room will be dead. You're number two on the list. Well, who's number one? An unknown, a civilian. Look out for Charlie. I want him down. All right, I had a little bit of time tonight, so I decided to uh, open up and check out the case that I was working on in the last video, the Raj Moonsingi case. I decided to just boost it up, boost it all up in certain areas, and just listen to the surface audio. I'm not even doing anything to the frequencies. All I'm doing is checking out everything boosted up, and I began to hear stuff pretty clearly before he talks before the cops are there. This is pretty huge and I should have just done this the first time but I was really digging into the frequencies and sometimes the simplest way is the best way. So let me play this audio boosted up for a second. You can hear stuff happening in there. Well, those are voices. You don't even have to really do anything to the frequencies, but you really can't tell what they are saying. But there are a few pieces that are huge to this case. I'm already making a part two, so there may be a part three, but this is huge. So there are important pieces in here. You're going to hear a voice right here, and it's sing-songy almost, and it almost sounds like it's yelling, but it's not. It's like a monotone yelling, and it says, your neighbor is calling the cops. I'll play it and then I'll loop it. Your neighbors. Your neighbors calling the cops. And the S of cops rings out. Calling the cops. So I'll loop it. Your neighbors calling the cops. So it literally says, your neighbor's calling the cops. And then it says here, it is working on him. It is working on him. It is working on him. This is really important here because it ties this into what is going on. Not only is he having a conversation, but it blatantly says here, your neighbor's calling the cops. And that's a typical example of how these voices project on a recorder, how they sound on a recorder. Here it says that guy is out of control, but it's a little harder to hear. Okay, this is after the police show up and fire. Check this out. And then there's a noise right here. And someone might say, oh, that's just a noise. But wait, check this out. And you might think that says something that it doesn't. Listen to how the frequencies warp and modulate. Now, let's go to the adjusted audio of that same thing. He shoots, voice comes in here. That's three times. That's what he says, referring to him being shot three times. That's three times. Clear as day, that's three times. So that noise that people might think is just a noise can get right by you and it says that's three times. Huge piece of evidence. Now there's a voice here that I caught that does not appear to be on the police body cam that is right next to the camera. This is off his security camera on the porch. Check this out, you're gonna hear like an interference blip and then the voice. And this is him, the Raj guy. Crazy, but three times clear as day. That's three times. Now remember this is 12.30 at night. This is as the police are moving up on him. They're gonna walk up here. 
Moving up. That's the police. Good day. You good? You good? Now listen. Good. Okay. There's a female voice right there that comes through like it is right next to the security camera's microphone. It should not be there. And I heard a female voice in the initial recordings that shouldn't have been there. I didn't get into it the first time, but this one is very there. Check it out. It says either don't ask her or don't answer. And you can tell it's weird. It's not right. It's not a normal female. That is not a live human voice. Watch the door. Watch the door. And it's closer to the microphone than the police are. How? Watch the door. Watch the door. Watch the door. RF ELF weapons. This is how they operate. This is a prime example of how they operate. If you haven't seen the video before this, watch it. This is some incident in Austin. This is 100% proof that these weapons are being used to basically take people out. Because if they don't take themselves out, they do something stupid or they get themselves locked up one way or another. It takes them out. So, you had the female, you had the robo voice saying that's three times. And while the neighbor is on the phone with the police making the 911 call, a voice comes through that's not quite right that says your neighbor's calling the cops. And then the voice saying, it is working on him. It is working on him. So, I mean, this is heavy evidence, especially since we have this guy that clearly isn't some schizophrenic having a conversation with somebody on the porch. And he should not be having that conversation while this stuff is in the background. The media lied about this and said Moonsingy yelled for whoever might be in his home to get out. He never said that. He was having a conversation with them. You can hear the conversation. That is not a rhetorical conversation. He is talking to somebody. This is blatant disinformation. Full on. Amazing stuff. That's it for now. Look out for Charlie. Come on! Go on! Do it! Come on! Do Nazi stuff! Yeah! Why won't he do the Nazi stuff? Look out for Charlie.